lesson four, what is a program? And let's play with selector number one. All right, so what is a program? And how to program? Program means telling the computer what functions you want the knitting machine to perform. Built into the computer memory are 555 different stitch pattern designs. So in order to knit one of them, you must tell the computer you, oh, sorry, you must tell the computer. Should you want to design your own stitch patterns, you must store this in the memory of the computer. You can also delete this information when it's no longer needed. Take time to learn the functions of the computer and you will enjoy your knitting machine to the full. Pattern program. When you want the machine to knit a particular stitch pattern, you must enter this information by using the pattern program. Two pattern repeats of the cherry pattern are knitted across the entire center of your work. It's easy. Okay. A MIMO program, this is used to tell the machine where to change color of yarn, which lace change lever setting to use. So red, brown, green, all right. Oh, cool. Input program. When you want to enter your own stitch pattern, use the input key. You can also delete it. And then you have a check program. Use the check program to ensure you have entered all the information correctly. Page 20. Pattern number. How to select the pattern. You will have with your machine the special Stitch World book. Where did I put it? Hang on, I gotta find it. Okay, found Stitch World. Okay, you will have with your machine the special Stitch World book. Stitch World shows full color of the 555 beautiful stitch pattern designs which are built into the memory of the computer. Choose your design and enter the number into the computer. Alright, let's say for example you would like to knit the cherry stitch pattern. You should simply enter 100. You may want to knit this ferrule design in more than two colors. Should this be the case, refer to the back section of Stitch World where all the designs are clearly shown by graph, giving the width and length of one pattern repeat and showing where the yarn changes appear. And yeah. So that is number 100. And I'm trying not to lose my books here. Okay, so these are all numbered. Uh, 99, 100. You can kind of see that? No, you can't. What? One sec. Try not to lose my stuff here. Okay, so right here, that's the cherry. See, it says twos, threes, and fours. All right. Makes sense, clear as mud, it is to me. Okay, so the number of contrast yarn is shown in the MIMO display. So remember how we said this was the MIMO display? That is where that number will be. And that is where you switch yarns. So that means you can use three yarns. <laughs> cool. Okay, selectors. There are two selectors on the panel. We're just going to close the Stitch World book for now. And we are going to just pay attention to what is written here. Okay. There are two selectors on the panel. You have to decide which one you want. Selector number one has all over patterning. So you would be going all the way across your work. For the knit along I want to do, we, we will be doing all around. We won't be doing a central pattern. If that makes any sense. I'm sure it does. Selector 2, a number of pattern repeats specifically positioned, referred to page 28. Don't worry, we'll get there. The same pattern repeat worked 
a number of times is called a multiple pattern. One pattern repeat as a single motif, three pattern repeats as a single motif, one pattern repeat as a single motif, and two pattern repeats as a single motif. Uh, two, one, two pattern repeats as single motifs. That was pretty clear as mud. All over patterning, you select one pattern A. When you program for an all over pattern, the pattern repeat is placed over the center of the needle bed. When you have chosen select one, you simply enter the, nu the number of the stitch pattern design, and the machine will automatically knit the pattern repeat placed over the center of the needle bed as an all over stitch design. So because the cherry is 20 stitches, it will knit it between 10 and 10. So you have green and yellow. Remember that. The position of the pattern repeat is determined by the left needle of that pattern repeat. The needle bed is divided into two halves. The left being referred to as the yellow and the right being referred to as the green. When one pattern repeat consists of an odd number of stitches, the center needle is automatically placed at G1, so green 1. When working all over patterning, the stitch pattern repeat is centered automatically. When the left end needle of the stitch pattern repeat is at the left, the yellow Y lamp is lit and then it'll say the number. So let's input this. So step cancel 100 step step okay see now i'm not going anywhere so turn it off turn it back on needle selector one step step there we go okay so the yellow lamp is lit and it'll be at 10 yellow and 10 green to center that first cherry. Does that make any sense? I'm sure it does. So we have now gone into how to program pattern program following the example uses Sti Stitch Design 100 from Stitch World. So we turned on the power. We chose our our selection okay we have to ensure that all of these lights are off so make sure that you don't have the KCR button on mine is being naughty hang on step okay when the ready light is on you can play with your variation buttons when the ready light is not on you cannot play with them just remember that sorry Got things under my machine again. Okay, so what are we doing here? Uh, we have ensured that our variation lights are off. We push the step key and the lamps are lit in order. So when we pressed it, we have pattern 100. And we did the, uh, performed it, go CE, and then 100, right? So that was the pattern number. We pushed the step key, and it asked for the position. And we want the position to be 10. And then I was supposed to press the step key again, and it would have been ready. And as you can see in the book, we have 1, 2. So it explains it here. The needle numbers, needles to the left of the needle bed are referred to as yellow. So the yellow light is lit and it says 10. And then the ready light is lit. There are two contrast yarns and the row number is on number one. And to knit the pattern, see page 78. Okay. Maybe later. All right. Sorry for that noise. There's a little spring on my uh, motor mount. Use pattern selector one, pattern B.
The pattern repeat does not have to be over the center of the needle bed. You can change its position and move it to either the right or left. The position of the pattern repeat is determined by the left needle of that pattern repeat. When the selector is set at 1, the machine will automatically place the pattern repeat over the center of the needle bed and the number of the left needle will be shown in the dis display. So pattern position 10, okay? Set automatically by the computer. Pattern set by you. Enter yellow left 15 as the pattern position. So let's try that. Okay. So if we enter yellow I don't see how that works. CE, yellow, 15, and then press step. Then by rights, oh, okay. Hang on, I screwed up a little bit. Okay, so step, step, cancel, yellow, 15, and then green, oh, step, CE green, no, okay. Well, let's see what happens if we go CE green, 20 step so from what I see you can't play with both so it's yellow or green on this one needles to the left of the needle bed are represented by yellow and to the right by green when the yellow and green lamps are flashing You should first push either the yellow key or the green key. Yellow if you want a yellow left needle number or green if you want a green, which is the right side of the bed needle number, then enter the needle number. So I guess that's what we did, right? So when we step, yeah, we have our pattern number. And now it says, look, you have green. So if I press CE, they're both flashing. And I can go yellow 10 step and now we're back to where we started that is so cool how to program pattern program example change the pattern position to yellow 15 from yellow 10 pattern position change the left needle position to yellow 15 okay we did that before entering your program Switch on the power, and then when the power is turned on, the ready lamp is lit up. Any information displayed on the panel relates to before the power was turned off. These things have a little memory battery. Ensure that the variation lamps are out. Should any of the variation lamps be lit, they can be turned off by pushing them. Only if it's in ready, just so you know. They won't work otherwise. Pattern program. Step 1. Choose one or two. So one or two. According to this, this page, we're on number one, and that is lit up in pink. So we're going to do number one. Step two. Push the step key. Step key. Press the CE key to clear the display. Enter 100 as the new number. Push the step key. The position lamp is lit. The yellow lamp and display indicate that the yellow is 10. And the left needle for the center pattern. Push the CE key. Push yellow. Push 15. Press the step key. To finish the program.
and now we would be able to knit. If you want to check that that has been programmed in, you can do so repeatedly by pressing the step key. The program will, will be displayed step by step in order in which you've entered it. For motifs, you use selector 2. So, selector 2. What are the pattern motifs? A motif can consist of one pattern repeat, single pattern repeat, or several, several repeats of the same pattern, multiple pattern repeat. Even though the pattern is repeated more than once, the group of needles forming the needles can make the motif. Using selector 2, you can have various combinations of a single multiple pattern repeat motifs. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so for motif one, during, during knitting, the reverse side of your work is facing towards you. Okay. Motif two, pattern position 50, pattern position 20. Three motifs, pattern position 80, 10, and 35. The motifs are numbered according to the order in which you entered them. First, second, and third, etc. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I'm going to stop this video right here. And we will do a complete new video on how to do a motif because this is pretty technical and I think we need to get knitting a single motif well I mean like um all over knitting and we need to see what we've been doing so far so I'm going to stop this and we will start knitting all right so before we go on to these single motifs we're going to stick with the all over knitting we're going to knit that cherry that we program programmed in first. And we will show you what the cherry looks like. Knit in pink and green. Makes sense. I'm going to load the yarn using the cast on comb. And then we will start knitting the pattern. Okay, we have the cast on comb is on. It's been released. Need to put on the claw weights. Claw weight one, claw weight two. That's released. All right. I'm going to uh, move my camera just a little bit. Okay, you want to make sure that you are past the turn mark. You want to engage your KC button. I'm going to use KC1 for this instead of KC2. I'm going to reset my row counter to 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to knit across one time. Here we go. So... I knit across one time. I'm listening to the belt, making sure I'm in the right position. I have nothing here pushed. This is in KC1. I'm just going to knit across. And now you can see where the uh, pattern has kicked out the uh, needles. I'm now going to introduce yarn number two. Yarn number two slides into slot B. So without opening up this door, you hold on to yarn number two and you just wiggle it and it'll go into slot B. You then need a clip. Clip it to give it a little bit of weight. You will now um, push the MC button, which is fair while. Um, I don't even know what MC actually stands for, but I'm sure somebody can correct me. We've already been outside the turn mark, so this pattern is already in engaged because it's kicked out the needles. We will now knit the pattern. Okay? 
I'm not going to worry about switching to the other color of yarn. We're just going to knit it as is. So the entire pattern. What do you see happened here? Seems to be a little bit angry. Okay. Push in the rubber. Well, I know what's going on. One second here. Okay, so the issue is, of course, my camera is in the way. So when my camera uh, interfered with the way the yarns worked, it interfered with how the carriage works. It happens. No worries. What we can do for funsies is we can move the carriage to KC2. And now it'll kick out the end needle. I'm just going to secure this here. Or not. I guess it doesn't want to. That's fine. What did you see happen here? It looks like it dropped this stitch, which it did. So we want to pick that back up. Throw it on there. Push this out. And we'll try KC1 again. There we go. Okay. You know what? Sometimes a uh, knitting machine has uh, the hiccups. Maybe it doesn't feel like working. It does happen. can see where it dropped that needle again. I'm quite sure this has to do with my camera in the way, which is fine. Sometimes you just got to go with it. And it looks like... Okay. So now we have gone into the second run of the cherry. So we're going to turn off our patterning. I'm just going to rip that apart. I'm going to remove the yarn. Make sure that's engaged. And we're going to make a couple rows. Okay. We will now remove this work and I'll let you see it. Now remember, we were just doing all around knitting. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna remove my uh, clips. Well, we would hope without a lot of drama, but yeah, it's Saturday. Okay. So now we look at it, and you can see that we have green cherries. Pretty cool. So again, this is uh, all over knitting. 
We had a couple of issues, which, you know, that happens. Can't always be perfect. But you get the pretty good idea on how we have the big cherry and the little cherry. And it goes to the top here where it ends. Oh. Well, maybe I wasn't quite done it yet. That's fine. I guess I forgot the leaf. Which is fine. You, you kind of get the idea. Next up, we will do that um, motif. And I will put more needles out. And we will try doing the motif. So that's going to be in the next video. We're going to go through the entire programming of the motif. Well, the numerous motifs. And we're going to uh, get that to work. Up next, we will learn about selector number two.